<laughs> yo, yo, yo. As you guys have seen and can tell lately, I've been doing a ton of public land hunting. It's fun. I love getting back to the roots of my duck hunting. But seeing birds, seeing the active natural birds in the natural areas out in these public wetlands, it's got me thinking. I'm seeing a bunch of coots, and I've heard a lot of old wives' tales that say, hey, run coot decoys in your public duck hunting spreads and you'll see a big difference so this is kind of like a confidence decoy so what we're gonna do we're gonna run to walmart i'm gonna buy a pack of decoys because i don't want to use the ones that i have in the trailer big price difference i'm gonna paint one or two of them or however many we want flat black i'm gonna go with flat black so it doesn't have a high shiny gloss we just got a bunch of these new little little fellas in stock this is the money little fella lanyard has the removable or you can add more of the call totes link in description we're gonna get on the road get to walmart and go buy some freaking decoys and all right you know how it is vlogging while walking into walmart let's uh, see how many odd reactions we can get oh boy look at all this this is uh my kid, my family's heaven right there. We are in here doing big things, looking for Walmart decoys. It's been forever since I have bought Walmart freaking decoys. I'm saying like 10 plus years. I think I'm going to get one of these. One of them. Yes. Well, this is what we're dealing with. I went ahead and got some Texas rigs for these bad boys. The reason why I'm buying these is I don't have a bunch of duck decoys of my own. I don't want to go painting some of our other ones. I just kind of want to add some cheap ones that I can toss in the bed of the truck and not worry about. So that's what these are going to be for. As well as painting them black and seeing if coot decoys actually work or not. Homemade coot decoys, that is. <sighs> Good to go there. Uh, well, there we are. I actually did pick up some black, matte black actually, spray paint. This is supposed to be good for plastic and it's paint and primer both. Now I spent far, far, far too much in there. Wonder where's my receipt? But yes, uh, spent, god dang it was expensive, I spent about $100 on decoys, Texas rigs. So yeah, I spent about 100 bucks on uh, a dozen decoys, Texas, you know, weights, and paint. So, old Walmart. God dang, we need ducks, we need to start making, uh, we need to start making decoys for God's sakes. A lot of money. But we're going to get home. We're going to paint a couple of these bad boys. I'm hoping you guys really like these videos because uh, I would normally never go buy a brand new decoy and paint the son of a gun. Oh, YouTube. So guys, here's our lovely decoy. I'm choosing to do... Uh, <clears throat> the hen because uh the teal i kind of want to keep for teal i think teal decoys are extra helpful especially on public lands so uh beautiful you know beautiful walmart decoys uh i'm gonna go ahead and paint this bad boy i don't know how many i'm gonna do i may only do one or two but um yeah let me know if i need to do one two three if i only do one now drop a comment down below and uh, let me know how many i should do Yeah, this paint dries really, really quick. This flat color dries real quick, which is really nice. So guys, painting this thing, obviously this isn't a coot decoy, but having the bigger body better than the teal, I think that's just naturally gonna be better 
than having the small body till decoy. Most coots are bigger ducks. Now, that looks like a freaking coot. If I'm a bird flying above, I would never know the difference. Uh, like I said, this is just that confidence decoy. We all wonder if it works. So, this is my first time ever doing this. I have seen, just like the old timer, uh, Larry, that I hunted with in that last big Cheyenne Bottoms public hunt, he had some pintail decoys that he just painted black to resemble either both and it actually worked he kind of put them by themselves in their own little family group and it worked so you guys this here i don't know how many i'm going to do like this i'm going to go ahead and throw my texas rig weights on this bad boy let it dry and see if i need to add another coat but that sucker is black once it dries hopefully it isn't so shiny and glossy would you look at that we got the old coot decoy all texas rigged up ready to freaking go all rigged up you know these texas rigs they're pricey but man i'll tell you what these things are lifesavers and they are nice look at that we got the teal rigged up now with all them nice texas rigs and we have all the big ducks and then we got old, we might call this guy Larry. That's, that's a good name, old, old Larry rigged up. Well, guys, I do not recommend you guys going and spending your money and doing what I'm doing. Now, if you do have some old, old decrepit decoys that don't matter, they're not worth much. Hey, th thanks plane, thanks man. But if you have some old decrepit decoys that don't matter, they don't, you know, they're not worth any money, you know, you might try this out if you do a lot of public land hunting. A lot of public wetlands have a bunch of coots. So that's the idea with this, guys. There's a bunch of you out there I know that have always wondered, hey, there's a bunch of coots here. Would it help if I have coot decoys? So what we're going to do is right now, if this video gets 400 likes, 400 likes, I know that's not a bunch for some people, but that's a bunch for me. If this video gets 400 likes, I'm going to take this decoy or if you guys comment how many i should do i'll, I'll do more i'm going to take them out by myself do a solo hunt out on the public marsh up north of town about 20 minutes so if it reaches 400 likes that is what we're going to do literally i'll do it tomorrow i know that this is a short video but i wanted to kind of do it in series this is kind of episode one so 400 likes there's going to be an episode two and it's going to be the hunt with more painted or just one whatever you guys decide let me know also if any of you guys have any wives tales any myths any hunting hacks mix you know those myths that you've always wondered about and heard about drop them down below in the comment section i'd love to hear them i'd love to do some videos on them that's where i get a lot of these crazy ideas so drop them down below other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i want to make an episode too guys so drop that thumbs up Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it so much. Trying to be the best waterfowl channel on YouTube. And with your guys' support, man, it's happening literally every day. We're growing. So thank you guys for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead. I put my 